Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to Matt 18 on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's the Saints going up against the Raiders. It's a day, Larry, that fans in these parts will need to savor as we come to you from the East Bay at Oakland, California. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New Orleans Saints and the Oakland Raiders. And he'll get this just up past the 20, but a marker is down. Let's get the call. Yeah, this is going to put them back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. They go play action here on first down. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the offense will cover this one up, but they'll be pushed back inside their own 10. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. To throw on second is Watson. And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. From the gun, here's Watson. A bullet throw, but incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. He's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. Taking a couple yards shy of midfield. We'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Raiders will have a short field to work with as they take over. fake here on first down oh he's going to take a shot right away and that one falls incomplete looked like he might have had position there but he couldn't hold on it at second down and he'll lose yardage here back at the 47 
It's a loss of two, now third down. We were just talking about him pregame. Three tackles for a loss last week. You thought he looked so explosive on film. Starting off good there, another one in the first quarter. He's every bit of what you described, and I don't want to make it too simplistic, but right now for him, it's see ball, get ball, and that's what he's doing really, really well, and he's doing it in the offense's backfield. On third down, Burnett. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. Now the offense lining up first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one down near the 15. A gain of three, second down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. They'll run it now out of the gun. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. The Saints with an extra defensive back here on third on the field. Could they blitz? Here we go. Operating from the gun. Burnett. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them... They remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So the folks here in the stands this afternoon, they're happy about that when their guys get the early advantage after the opening drive field goal. And they should be happy. Their guys look good getting down the field, and that's got to give them hope that good things are in store here today. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. They start the drive with Cook. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They run it again with Cook. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. Now well, that play was doomed right from the start. He just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. Throwing on third down, Watson. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Raiders offense now. They trot back out. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, 
touchdowns. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. We they weren't go. successful on that play. They look for them to try it again later. On second down, they'll try and run the counter. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Off the play fake. Burnett. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. And it's fielded at the 34. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially given 15. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll get across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Again, it's Cook. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense, they were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? <laughs> Almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yard of possibility? Now it's Watson. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Saints have taken the early lead. Didn't have anything downfield. Swung it out to the flat. He did the rest. Such a staple of so many offenses we see now. You know, in our discussions with offense coordinators, how many times do they tell us, hey, this offense is designed for either a touchdown or a check down. We saw the check down on that play, and boy, was it successful. We saw a touchdown, too. Lutz now to kick this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now here come the Raiders. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Here we go! From the gun, Burnett. He rifles one that's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. 
Out onto the field comes New Orleans. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Back to throw, Watson. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. First and goal here from the two. Ohio, Ohio. Let's go. Grand 38. Grand 38. They'll run with Cook. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Saints add on to their lead. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Lutz now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you go. are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now... A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 13. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. After the interception, here's Watson. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Throwing again is Watson. Eluding the pressure. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. Throw on third down. Watson, he's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds up around the 45-yard line. And that one results in 35 yards. The best passing attacks in the NFL often incorporate the guys out of the backfield catching the football. And that's what we just got on that play. As a primary receiver, not always just a check down, not always a safety valve. Sometimes they just get it to him right away because they have the matchup advantage. Rolling to his right. Thrown across his body and it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. 
They are in an interception mood on defense. Had two nice interceptions a week ago. Now two here in the first half. Yeah, we call it ball hawking. And the only way to truly be good ball hawks is not guessing. It's not just simply anticipation. It's study and understanding what they like to do and beating them to the spot and creating big plays. Well, they're watching the film, and it's working. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Here we go! Looking to throw. Burnett. And they set up the screen. That's complete. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. The Raiders on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 14. Come on, let's go! Off play action. Burnett, he sets the fire deep. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. So that is three interceptions now in this first half. And you hate to ask the question, but... Yeah, let's be honest. We're thinking about it. Do you need to go in a different direction next series? Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here. But he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Maybe change up the play calling to help him out a little bit. comes to Cook. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. On second down, Cook. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49 yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. carrying the game for Cook. And some space here. And certainly some style points there on the spin. Not a whole lot thereafter, but still a pretty good game. It appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Oakland after this. The Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Third and inches, just turn around, hand it to the big guy and let him plow forward and pick up a first down. A lot of people think that the offensive line, they may almost take the play off because they got a big guy back there pushing forward. 
I think it actually works in reverse. I think they block harder because they love seeing that guy get the ball because he doesn't touch it very often. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. On the carry, it's Cook. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on the play there. Second down. So they ran against the 4-6 defense. Not only did they run against it, they tried to run it right up the gut. And that's really not a great place to go when you're running against what is commonly known as the Bear defense made popular by those great Chicago Bears teams. No place to go right in the middle of that. Here's Watson now on second down. Shreds the tackle. Steps away to his left. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So the chains are on their sides. It's first and goal from the six. Now a handoff looking right. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that makes... Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Chris Jones able to use that strength and get him for a loss of two. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Out of the gun, Watson... Touchdown, New Orleans. Deshaun Watson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Saints now add six to their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Lutz now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Come on, let's go! Ohio, Ohio, Ohio! A final shot before break. Burnett, he's going to let it go again. That's caught inside the 20. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Larry Ridley. He's standing by with our EA Sports halftime report. Larry? Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. 
a lot of them script to start the second half too and they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game we'll see if that script is a good one for them They'll run it now out of the gun. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Throwing on third and long. Burnett. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Saints will have a short field in front of them. They take over here first and ten. Dalvin Cook. 20! And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. A big time play there for New Orleans. 41 yards. So the offense has it. Six yard line, first and goal. the ground it's Cook and they'll get him down here at about the five yard line it's a gain of a yard and it'll set up second and goal well Brandon we always know that once you score one touchdown you, you want to <laughs> you're without a doubt and so far today he's got one but was denied as he tried to get the second one one receiver left two to the right on second down, here's Watson. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Shane Ray in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? To throw is Watson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. They lost a big chunk. Six yards there. And it leads to fourth down. And Lutz's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So put another three on the board. And all things considered, a good opening drive here to begin the third quarter. It sure was. I think as a head coach, you're happy to come out and put a little drive together, take the three points, and build on your lead. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Raiders. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. First and ten, Burnett. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And now here's a carry heading left. <laughs> Room to run past midfield. 
14 yards is the pickup there in a Raider first. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. The defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. Now a handoff as they run left side. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. So we've got a second and five. Operating from the gun, Burnett escaping the pressure right. And his throw is incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. The Raiders on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Come on, let's go! What? No. Black round! Black round! Black round! Black round! Let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! From the gun, Burnett. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Fielded just inside the 20. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. That'll go down as just a 20-yard punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get free. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Eddie Vanderdoes in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. A toss to Cook. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Third and long, it's Watson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. Ooh, just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. 
How many times when we see an incomplete pass, we just look at the receiver and say, ah, should have caught that one. That was a drop, and we just put it on the offense. How about a little credit for the defense there? They just forced an incompletion. Yeah, especially after starting in a tough spot defensively, but a good start there on first down. That gave them a little extra confidence there, starting, as you said, in a tough spot and being able to make a play on first down. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. The Raiders on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. They run the counter now on first down. And he's brought down. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to... And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Extra point forthcoming. And this is up and good. That'll make it a score now of 24 to 10. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that they're driving with. Oh, the ball is in. Watson lost it. But fortunately, the Saints were able to hold on to it, so they will indeed keep possession. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. So the offense avoids disaster, keeps possession. Now it's second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he got blown up on that play back at the 20. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Saints on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and 16. A shotgun snap for Watson. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Back 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And yeah, not much doing. He'll get this only up to about the 36. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to find his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. A big play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Raiders have cut it back to within a score. He's got it, and it's 24-17. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively. Put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Spins by, and he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll take a break and get a report from Oakland after this. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Now Watson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard, and it's second down. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. From the 50, it's Watson. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Watson. Flushed out right, and an alley to run. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. gun and he'll be taken down at the 34 just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine the fourth quarter here they've got the lead they want to keep it on the ground that's what they're doing smart football keep the clock grinding keep it going 
But you got to figure now they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. It'll be a loss of seven on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. And the offense here just looking to stay in bounds, complete the short passes, and put this game on ice. Here we go! Watson throwing on third and long. And that is incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field. Punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Here we go! One, nine, one, nine, one. Now a handoff here to his running back. Gets it up around the 22, but no further. Did flash the fancy footwork, but not much to show for it. A gain of three, second down. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Second down following the run. Come on, let's go! Ah. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Trying to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go! As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Palmer. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. Back to throw. Burnett. He's going to let it fly. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. Back to the air on second down. Burnett dancing to his left. Now a desperation throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. And that gives...
gives him now three interceptions in the game. So someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. What was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman. Oh, yeah, that's then right. Then with the Eagles. That's right. He's then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Now, Whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And Watson's going to throw it here. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. He's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Third down. That's Richardson. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Now the Raiders are going to use another timeout here. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, You've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short of yep. the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And oh! A crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. A road win in the National.